Well, I'm standing about dead center in this building, and it appears this building is built on 36 foot uh, quadrants. So from that corner right there to that end over there is about 36 feet. It's about 36 feet across. Same thing there. That's the only one that's less. It looks like it's about maybe 20 to 24 feet. And, but it's still 36 feet from there to there. Another 36 feet all the way down there. 36 feet across there. That's stepping it off, but also using those studs for measurement. And looks like the back is probably 36 feet too. And you can see this is all vaulted. Wow. Okay. So that's what this is. It's plumbed for slab on grade. It's got, uh, looks like most of the plumbing in the slab is already run. Some plumbing back there. We'll take a quick look. You can see it. <clears throat> looks like there's a shower in right here. So this is plumbed for a bath. You can see all the manifolds. This is probably gonna be the utility room where the heater will be. I see another uh, fan up there. So it looks like plumb for another bath, but maybe not a shower, I don't know. There are windows framed out on both sides here, but they're not in. There's a back door steel back door right there and I'll show a picture of the outside this is quite impressive we're standing underneath the entryway and you can see you can drive right through there's kind of a circle drive that goes around and this is quite amazing here I don't know who did this framework but uh, I'd like to know who it is it's uh, Pretty amazing work. A little bit too much of a close up. All right, I'll take a few more out this farther out. And you've got a fence. And the gate, fence all the way around. Electronic gate on the entry. Very good security, hard to beat this.